Hey, what's going on everybody? It is Slash x 70 here with another PC build guide video. Today I have a setup video for you all. This is a $450 PC gaming setup with everything you need to start gaming. This is going to include a mouse, a keyboard, speakers, a monitor, pretty much everything you need to get started. So let's get right into it. Starting off with the PC itself, the first thing you're going to need is some kind of used desktop computer. Now you could either get this from eBay, you could get it at a yard sale, you could find it on the side of the road, who knows. But you pretty much just need a PC that has an up-to-date Windows, in this case I found one that has Windows 7, a Core 2 Quad, 4 gigs of RAM, and 320 gigs gigabytes of hard drive space. That's really not that bad specs for the price here, we're only paying about $150, and with a little bit of upgrading, this thing could be even better. Maybe you step up the hard drive to one terabyte, maybe up the RAM to eight gigabytes, and next thing you know, you have a very capable system, but for $150, something like this is gonna be just fine. Next up, we're gonna need to upgrade the graphics of that PC, because they aren't very good, and they are not going to be able to take advantage of that Core 2 Quad which was included as the CPU in that PC. So, for the video card, I went with the EVGA GeForce GTX 750 Ti. It is a 2GB video card, and it is the EVGA superclocked version. You have a very nice cooler on there, and it is a small form factor video card, so it should be able to fit into most cases. But I would definitely check first and make sure that the uh, computer you're buying does support dual slot video cards if you plan on buying this GPU. The 750 Ti should be able to handle 1080p gaming, low, medium settings, depending on the game, maybe even high settings if you're playing a less demanding title like Counter-Strike GO or League of Legends. But for the money at only about $100, this video card is one of the best and it doesn't require any extra power, so you really can't beat it for the price when you're looking to upgrade an old PC. Next up, we're going to be looking at mice and keyboards. Starting off with the mouse, this is pretty cheap. It's only $10, but it is great, and I own one. It is the Sodi James Donkey 200, 1600, and 1000 DPI high precision optical mouse. Now, does it have the greatest sensor? No, that's the only real main drawback I see of this mouse. It has a pretty lame optical sensor, which definitely is not gonna be used in any Counter-Strike tournaments anytime soon. However, what you are getting is a mouse that is made out of surprisingly high quality materials for $10. It does have two side buttons. It does have adjustable DPI on the fly with a button that you find in the middle of the mouse. And for only $10, you're getting a mouse which is constructed did very very well it has a nice feel in the hand like I said has kind of a brushed plastic finish and overall it feels great and I really don't think you can beat it for $10 for the keyboard it's really hard to beat the Razer Black Widow mechanical keyboard on eBay right now you can pick up a used one for about 40 to $50 depending on the model here I have the 2016 edition only $50 right here on this eBay listing you really can't find any mechanical keyboards similar to this one for the price. If you're interested in hearing a little bit of a typing sample, I'll play one now. It is a very nice sounding keyboard. It has Razer's mechanical green switches and they kind of have a very, very clicky sound if you're into that. They are kind of loud though for people's tastes. Maybe if you're up late into the night gaming, it might be a little bit too loud for you. But in my opinion, for $50, it's one of the best keyboards you can get if you're looking for a cheap mechanical keyboard. Next up, you're going to need some speakers. So I went with the Logitech speaker system Z313. This thing, for the money, is one of the best low-end speaker systems you can get. It does have a subwoofer, and it has two speakers, all adjustable volume on a little control it provides you with. So... It, it's pretty small and it's a 25 watt speaker system, but it's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna blow the house down. It's not the most pounding, bassy thing you're ever gonna hear, but for the money, uh, $35 for a new speaker system, it's really hard to beat, and it's just gonna be able to plug and play very wonderfully into any PC you want, and it's gonna work very well in a budget end system like this. You thought I was gonna forget it, didn't you? I didn't. 
Next up is the monitor. I have the Acer S220HQ, you know, it's a model number. It's not the most interesting thing, so I'm not going to finish telling you it. It's a 21.5 inch 60 hertz monitor with a 5 millisecond response time, so it's not the fastest thing in the world, but it's not so slow that it's going to slow you down. It is a 1080p monitor for only $90 with free shipping. You really can't beat it. Acer makes a quality monitor, and even though it's not going to be the most crisp, it's not going to be the most color accurate, it's still a very good monitor for $90. Lastly, I figured I'd throw in a wireless adapter for you guys that don't have the gift of using Ethernet wherever your setup is. So I went with the wireless N150 high gain USB adapter. All you do is plug it into any USB slot and boom, you have a Wi-Fi dongle and it can connect to any wireless network within a reasonable range. This thing does have a little antenna and it does kind of up the signal a little bit. I actually do use this specific uh, wire wireless adapter and it does perform very well even through multiple floors of a house. You still get a nice strong connection so it's hard to beat for only $12. That's gonna wrap up the build guys, for only about $450 you're getting a full setup with speakers, mouse and keyboard, wireless adapter, monitor, uh, and a pretty darn good gaming PC, so it's really hard to beat. Um, in this day and age of PC gaming, you can get some amazing deals for very cheap prices, and the way I see it, $450 to get into PC gaming, not really bad at all. If you're just somebody who is just wondering what PC gaming's like, I'd imagine this would be a great setup for you. It doesn't have a huge amount of upgrade paths as far as the actual PC is concerned because the architecture is very, very old. However, still a very good entry level system. So I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating. If you're new, be sure to subscribe. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave that in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer it. Or maybe one of the beautiful men and women in the slash think tank will help you out. We'll solve the world's problems. We'll build PCs like man, man. I'll see you all later. Have a great day. Peace.